Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dan Long Racer and today I'm doing something slightly different. It's about the new, the rumor, the deal that has been made for Melon 1 and today it's the signing of Asian New Moon. He is now signed on board within Aston Martin. The, the, the deal is a long term deal for 30 million year along with the shareholder within the team. It's actually like crazy how I don't think been done with the rumour like of from Bali, the Aston Martin, you know, having like a bit in war trying to get into the new win, but the Aston Martin has came out on the top and beaten out for Bali. For Bali has reportedly tried to back down, so don't, they want to avoid having no war with uh, Aston Martin for ain't the new win. So obviously, with the effects of him leaving, it seems a bit massive impact on Matt Verstappen and you know, the rumour to be where Matt to go to the Aston Martin and sign on with them and work with the new being again in a new team so I can imagine it'll be very uh, impactful for the next sport especially with them leading like, like multiple staff in the new being Jonathan recently uh, and there's multiple staff that are alluded along with Matt Verstappen. So the impact of the work board it potentially be a downfall and like they turn you know, come up with something where they can revive their uh, downfall and try to bring it back to the top. That's something they could do for the West Ball. The HB of you know, ain't the new in career, he has been top predominantly like really successful, especially with him winning 12 construction championship with the three team William McLaren and the West Ball. So that's obviously very rich history of Andrew Newby, the effects of him joining a team they actually do deliver with Andrew Newby to dine. But he is obviously, you know, he's a technical director for multiple teams that so you obviously done the job and just the nine some man style who won in 1992 and a Trinchlatton Championship won as well at the time so that obviously a uh, very good start of a new journey from his first year of winning the Trinchlatton Championship and he also won such a year in a row with Alan Poe and a Trinchlatton Championship as well about two back-to-back -back championship with the William, so very successful season now. Three people with the William again, but the World Championship in live is completely different one. But Michael Schumacher, but the William has won the Tunch Lesson, but missed out in 1995. But now into 1996, the father got to bat for Damon Hill, who won the World Championship and the Tunch Lesson Championship that obviously the return back to the William winning at the thing who they missed out in 1995 it was very unlucky for them but in 1997 Jack Vanove who won the World Championship and William won the Tunch Lesson Championship that's another one on the bell for Andy Newman but in 1998 1998 he joined McLaren and helped Mitten Hatterstein to win the World Championship and Tunch Latin Championship, then years without any championship, it dawned to Lutzburg and won it in 2010, deliver Sebastian Vettel third championship and Stetton Championship in 2011, back to back Tunch Latin Championship as well. 2012, to Tunch Latin Championship, it won by Lutzburg and three times winner for Sebastian Vettel in a World Championship and Lava Championship. But this is stuck for now onto the fourth championship in Tunch in West Ball and Sebastian Vettel dominant four years in a row winning the World Championship. Now, not obviously, the riding year has been mistaken now. In 2021, he helped Matt to win the third World Championship, no Tunch but in 2022, they won Tunch Lesson and Love and World Championship dominated season and now in 2020 another dominant season for Matt Verstappen winning World Championship and let's go with a Tunch Latin Championship that it like the whole ain't the new win dominant winner in a Tunch Latin Championship 12 
uh, championship, which is obviously brilliant of him. But now we're going to the impact of Ain the Newman to deliver to the team like of Axel Martin. They do need to help like of Snow, Fernando Alonso, and obviously help out Lonnie Snow as well. But it's not, he put a lot of money into it, so he tried to expect it on the doors back to the team that they had a good start in 2020 this season but it didn't work out for them when they joined into the spectrum part of the season that's where they tried to fall off a little bit and this season in 2024 one of the worst scenes of Aston Martin with the shame like of obviously a long style in two time world championship driver this third had the fastest tar land slow well He's Lance Snow, he always be on the team because of his father, but he's also on the team because he can drive. That's the only way to get in the team in Formula 1 if you can drive. So with Ain't the Newry in the team, there's a um, 100% where there will be massive like fighting for the uh, Transnational Championship and the Championship. And with the effect of Max Ball down 4, that can allow Axel Martin have the up riding, potentially will be fine with Mercedes and Fernando and McLaren. My prediction of 2025 is the fifth really joining it in March of 2025. So from that point on, all the way until a contract finish, it is staying beyond 2026 as well. So it should be more likely to be Axel Martin, McLaren, Mercedes, Ferrari, West Ball. I have no hope with Lux Ball, but if Lux Ball could make a turn as well, then there's a the hope for Lux Ball. They need to make sure they can retain Matt Verstappen in order for the championship to work out for the Lux Ball and potentially moving on from Sturgeo Pelo, but he is lacking that kind of um, competitivity that Lux Ball needed to win the Tunchlossian Championship. So I think fantastic move for Aston Martin getting eight and doing but unfortunate for Lux Ball. And I would say they're staying for Ferrari as they locked out you know bit in war. But Ferrari it, in a good play I say staying with Clarion really, probably in the best play that ever been in a long long time. Mercedes up and down but I doubt it in the Metal Combat for sure that pretty much conclude on what ain't the new in to impact the team and how he will affect the team that he left from and the history of Andrew Ewing. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I mean it's something different, uh, it's something new and I would love to hear you know your feedback and what you think about Ain't the New enjoying the acts of Martin and his history adding no, the diner for a team that he, every time he goes in, he didn't live for and didn't live for and didn't live for all the time. So I think it's going to be really successful season for Aston Martin in the future for sure. So thanks for watching, please like and just like my video, do well and peace out.